Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You guys know me. I'm a uh, cross-platform gnome. Locker gnome. You know, that's my, my handle. Because I'm short. Never got shoved in a locker, though. I became addicted to software at a young age. Uh, programmed a little. Basic. You know, the whole 20 go to 10 thing. If you don't, well, it's no big deal. Over time, uh, I, you know, started to enjoy software, you know, no matter which operating system it was available for, and, you know, found myself floating in between Windows and Linux and OS X, and really looking for developers who understood that, you know, we're, you know, slowly inching towards a time where it doesn't really matter what operating system we're running, just as long as we're able to run the software. I happened to need uh, a renaming utility for Mac OS X because the batch renaming features in Mac OS X are kind of lacking, especially in comparison to Windows Vista. So I, I went out onto the web and found this website, publicspace.net, and available there is a better finder rename. That, that's the name of the software, a better finder rename. And better yet, there is a Windows equivalent right here from the same development team, the better file rename for Windows. So whether you need to do batch renaming in Mac OS X or Windows, you can use the utility here on publicspace.net. They've also got a better finder attributes for Mac OS X. Remember the finder is the Windows Explorer equivalent on Mac OS X. It's the way you find your files on Mac OS X. They've also got the better file attributes for Windows. And they've got a couple of other utilities as well. In fact, one beyond those, uh, I guess, four that I've just mentioned, one that I'm really kind of excited to talk to you guys about, something called Mac Breaks, M-A-C-B-R-E-A-K-Z. Now, this is only available for Mac OS X. Yeah, so, uh, you know, no luck for Windows folks right now. Maybe they'll port it over to Windows at some point in the near future, but you may know of a Windows equivalent. What this will do is it'll run and it'll remind you, hey, you need to get up from your computer now and you need to do something or you just need to do a stretch. In fact, the example here, they've got a little screenshot, a little cartoon illustration. It says, hold both arms out in front of your body, gently ball your hands into fists, thumbs on the outside. Now turn your hands to the outside until you feel a gentle stretch. Hold for a count of 10. Ooh, you can feel that. It actually feels good. Okay, I'm not going to hold for a count of 10, but dang, that feels good. It's just one word. There's no space in there, Mike Buntu. Mac breaks, making healthy computing fun. And you know we've talked about this before, whether it's ergonomics with your chair or ergonomics with where the screen should be sitting in relation to your eyes, but also getting up and getting away from the computer every once in a while. This doesn't just remind you of that. It also gives you stretches. Instead of saying, hey, you need a stretch, it says, hey, here's an idea. Try this for a stretch. So not only are you able to learn, but you're able to keep yourself healthy with software that they developed here from publicspace.net on either Mac or Windows, potentially, depending on what it is that you want to do. You know, I'm always on the lookout for useful software, whether it's for Mac or PC, whether it's shareware or freeware. I'm always interested, especially when I have the opportunity to test similar software in both operating systems, because then I'm able to decide for myself, well, I use this more, or I like this on that operating system. At least I have a choice. So hats off to you. That's an invisible hat, of course, to go along with my invisible mouse here. That, that was me clicking and scrolling. <laughs> you ever find yourself doing that? You know, the funny thing happened to me uh, the other day. Uh, my wife and I went to IHOP, and she said uh, she talked about uh, deleting something, only she wasn't talking about something in the computer-y context. You know, like, oh, I'm going to delete some of the coffee from my mug right now. <sighs> Deleted successfully. <clears throat> It was a geeky moment, and I, I brought a tear to my eye, actually, that uh, she used the word delete outside that, uh, you know, context. Yeah, anyway, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the jokes for the other people. Obviously, I'm just nothing more than a software addict. My email address is chris at perillo.com. You're welcome to make recommendations, or you're also welcome to swing by the website and chat it up with the rest of us geeks. You know, we're addicted to hardware, software, the internet. We're addicted to anything that happens to be within the realm of technology. Uh, <clears throat> sometimes coffee, and sometimes bad jokes. I've got this live video feeding out over the web 24 hours a day, seven days a week in conjunction with the chat room at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.